How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Signals and Gamers and today it looks like Halo Infinite developers 343 Industries are looking for feedback to, for the game's weekly up, ultimate rewards and so without any further ado let's go ahead and dive right into, right into this and see what they have to say about this and see what they're as, actually going to be asking about and so yeah here we go. So Halo Infinite's weekly ultimate <coughs> rewards have been point of contention for fans and now 343 Industries is looking to see how the system should evolve moving forward. Weekly ultimate rewards come from completing every weekly challenge in Halo Infinite's multiplayer in a given week. Oft times, these rewards are less desirable, like emblems and backdrops, but occasionally be weapon charms, rings visors, or armor coatings. <clears throat> and there's what, what John Unishek has to say about this, saying that he finds the weekly ultimate reward conversations interesting, so let's talk about it. So if it's good, people say we're weaponizing FOMO and forcing them to play. If it's Seen as not good enough, people say there's no reason to play. What do you think, what do you think is a good middle ground? So, <clears throat> say as soon as I like you know break down this article, I'm probably gonna go into this tweet and look through this thread and see what people have to say that about this. And of course, there might be a little bit of an echo chamber thanks to these these NPCs like to say that being all negative is the end all and be all and <laughs> not like a jazz and. <clears throat> So in a tweet, Halo Infinite Senior Community Manager John Unishek asked fans that they thought it would be a good middle ground in terms of weekly ultimate rewards, considering the amount of time it takes to complete all the challenges in the week. Having the ultimate reward or be disappointing makes completing those challenges feel not worth the effort. Conversely, having a highly sought out after reward makes the player feel forced to play in order to unlock it, with players who have less time to play feeling like it's feel like they are missing out. The Halo Community Director, Brian Jarrett, also chimed into the subject, asking the fans if they thought Passwords should also be featured in the Halo Infinite's in-game shop at a later date, and what amount of time would be appropriate were, were that to happen. Jarrett goes on to state that there are currently no plans to have Ultimate Reward appear in the shop, but there is just curious what players there's thought. <clears throat> a Halo Waypoint blog post recently revealed a number of changes coming to progression and customization, as part of Halo Infinite Season 2, including an update to weekly ultimate rewards. In Season 2, emblems and backdrops will no longer be included as ultimate rewards, and instead, ultimate rewards will focus on weapon and armor coatings, visors, and stances. Halo Infinite Season 2 Lone Wolf starts on the 3rd of May and will feature new maps, modes, weapons balance, changes, a new battle pass, and more. A new trailer for Lone Wolves gives the fans a first look at some of the new maps and modes, including the Battle Royale inspired free for all game type called The Last Martin Standing. <clears throat> so, so yeah, that's gonna that's pretty good and now. And like I said before, we're gonna go dive right into this tweet that John Unishek posted or basically quoted it it off the off the Halo Twitter account. <clears throat> and here, and of course, also here's you know actually talking about it. And oh yeah, there's that <laughs> that guy's trying to steal my one of my raffle tickets back in 2015, Duquesne 23. <laughs> so honestly, I think they're. I see. Honestly, I think there shouldn't be items in the weekly. Maybe have 100 credits with some XP challenges swaps in each weekly. This way, it incentivizes to play without the FOMO issues. And, all, and only 100 credits means you have to acquire five weeks of challenges to really get anything. So I would even be okay with just 50 credits in a weekly if three or three considers too much. And so getting credits and all that good jazz, <clears throat> which will actually will give people a chance that that can't buy items in the store can an, op an option to get something that they. They play a lot. So yeah. Gotta say, one of the best members of the Halo community right there. <laughs> so yeah, the future update. Um, here, I'll just... Let's see, great news. And let's see, great improvements. Okay, it looks like there's actually you know, a lot of positivity going on. So so we need more than one map arena that's shockingly terrible for six months after release and whether it's free to play or not. You should have a team that dedicated to the map design for multiplayer, but if you have, have what has been doing exactly these past six months, clearly not... Well... <laughs> well, that's... Let's see, and I like the jazz, so... So yeah, that's not gonna like you know read every single one of them because that's gonna drop, drop the video long enough, but hey, you can probably like, you know, go on Twitter, or look up John Unishak and just find this tweet and actually <clears throat> read all the thoughts yourself and also Definitely let like, you know, sound your thoughts in, the, in in that thread as well. I hope to actually help get some feedback and actually make Halo Infinite a much better game to play than it's currently at, like, and all the good jazz in. So, 
So yeah, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. If you found it to be helpful and informative, then be sure to drop a like as always. Subscribe for more content like this. Hit the bell to be notified when my next video is going to drop and you got your thoughts or opinions. Then go ahead and sign up in the comment section below. Get a discussion going. Because I definitely want to hear your thoughts on this as well. And also, definitely like, you know, based on what John Yusek has said in that tweet, definitely like, you know, sign up with your thoughts also in this, in this comment section below because, you know, definitely going to need as much feedback as you can. And, say, and yeah. And again, thank you so much for watching, and as always, we'll catch you all in the next one.